Want to thicken enough the meat under your armpits and look better in your front poses? I'm about to show you how. All right, guys and girls, if you need to grow the meat of your lat and your upper back, this rack chin taught to us by Dante Trudell is the way to go all day long. Now, does it take some setup? Yes. Does it take lots of practice? Yes. Does it take a good amount of strength to get rolling? 100%. But what I want to think about here is if you can fight this pain, because it's excruciating, you will have a bigger, better back all day long. So let's get into the fundamentals and basics of this exercise, and then I'll walk you through how I would set it up into your program. All right, so inside a power rack, you can also do this inside of a Smith machine if you don't want to set up the bar, but I want to sit a barbell right at my chest. So this is my upper chest here, and then I want to have a bench that's on about a, hmm, that's probably about a 35 degree angle in front of me, or you can use a box or whatever you choose to like. And then we're going to grab the bar a wider grip. So I take my pinky, put it on the stripe of the gnarling. Then from there, I'm just gonna drop down, feet up on the bench, cross over so you can't get any leg drive. And then from this position, this is the full dead hang, drop up and squeeze. One, all the way down, full stretch, up, squeeze. Two, up, squeeze. Three, four. The magic here is in this first third. So don't cheat these reps. Get a good stretch and then up. I don't care if you can't get your chin above the bar. I'm fine with that. Up, just like that. So let's say you can easily knock out 20, 30 reps with your body weight. Easy fix here. I have an easy bar loaded. You can put 10s on there, 25s on there. I would probably not do 45s because the height and they're gonna start banging on the floor. So 10s or 25s is gonna be a great option there. So let me show you how I set this up. It's not easy. So <laughs> if you have a fixed bar in your gym, like the fixed easy bars, that works perfect. Because if you look, I'm gonna get him to show you, you see those like notches will sit right on my quads. It's gonna help hold it into place so the bar doesn't roll up and down my legs. So I like to do this is I'll just literally sit it on my lap here. And then from here, I'll just grab the bar where I talked about, right on the stripe of the gnarling, kick my feet up over here. And then now pull, 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 just like that. And then keep your feet underneath of you. Let me catch the bar, just like that. All right, so there you have it. The rack chin with your body weight, the rack chin with weight on your lap. So if you take that exercise, where I really love this is second in, or third in rotation in terms of a back day. So let's say I start with some straight arm pull downs, then go over to a row like John would suggest, and then I'm gonna come to this rack chin when I'm good and warmed up and you really are ready to crank because my ideal favorite thing to do with this is a rest pause set. So I would go to failure, count to 20 seconds, go to failure, count to 20 seconds, go to failure, and then stretch. So let me show you what a stretch looks like. So all I wanna do, I'm gonna use straps, right? I don't have straps with me now, but I'm gonna strap into the bar. So let's say I hit my third final set. Now I'm gonna do is just breathe into the stretch. Sink into it, stretch those lats, stretch that back, all that shoulder girdle, stretch it out. 30 seconds there. If you do that <laughs> to max effort, you will get up and it'll feel like you can jump off the building and fly. No joke. That's how pumped your upper back will be. So put this in your workout this coming week. I'm telling you, you are going to love it. If you've never tried it, or maybe you did try it once, come back to it, experiment with it. This does take some practice and setup to get everything perfect in terms of bar height, the bench setting, and the right weight. Once you nail all three of those, you're gonna love this freaking exercise. If you like this video, guys, like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, Chris and Stevie.